This question is from Laura. She says, I've been diagnosed with a speech problem. Basically, my brain doesn't talk to my tongue. I sound drunk and even have been asked if I were. The funny thing is, I don't even drink. But it's so annoying. I really like video and feel this is definitely the new sales technique. What should you suggest, Laura? Okay, Laura, first of all, everybody has problems, right? Everyone has issues and stuff that comes on and I don't, I've not experienced that so I don't know if I'm the best person to answer this question. But here's what I will tell you. I talk really, really fast too. I have a central processing disorder so my brain sometimes, you know, it, it, it doesn't work right, all right? And it's caused problems in my, in my learning, it's caused problems in my career and I've just learned to kind of overcome it. But what I would do is just be vulnerable and be real and tell people, listen, I know sometimes I sound drunk, I know sometimes that I sound a little crazy, but I'm actually really smart, I know what I'm talking about, it's just my brain doesn't work right, my tongue doesn't talk to my brain sometimes and so sometimes I might sound drunk. I would say that every time you start to do a video or before you talk to somebody, before you meet with somebody and just say, listen, we all have problems, we all have issues. If you can just please trust that this brain does work right, this doesn't sometimes come out right and there's no better person than me to take care of you and to help get you where you want to go. Um, that would be my first start is just be real, be honest, be open, tell people what it is that you're dealing with. because. All of us have something that we're dealing with, right? And most people, they just don't talk about it or say it, and they appear to be so put together on the outside when really they're not on the inside. So I'd recommend doing that. And, um, you know, and, and really for your own self, and I, I might not know what I'm talking about here, but try to have the best positive self-talk as you can, right? Tell yourself things like, my brain talks good to my tongue. My brain, my, my tongue is understanding what my brain is trying to convey. Start saying those things to yourself. Write those things down. And the reticular activating system in your brain, it's going to help you work towards getting that. It might not be perfect, but it will get better. I promise you, from all the research that I've done, there's so many different books you can read that talk all about um, the power of our brains and how our brains have the ability to really, really, truly transform sicknesses and ailments and, and they can heal us. They can heal that too. I really, really believe it. So start uh, writing out you know, how your brain is working correctly. Start thinking, visualizing how your brain is working correctly. Just start doing those videos. Um, if you need some help from us, you know, you can always go to the Agent Power Huddle, agentpowerhuddle.com, agentpowerhuddle.com. Every day from 8 to 8.30 Pacific, we've got trainings and you can jump on there for free and get some support and guidance. So hope that helped you and uh, thank you for being vulnerable and reaching out. I really appreciate it and I wish nothing but your success. Are you looking to transform your business? Well, if the answer is yes, then you don't want to miss out on our intensive event starting soon for only $97. This event is jam-packed, full days of live coaching with me. We have breakout sessions to customize and implement our daily trainings so that you can actually utilize them into your business. We're going to give you the training to craft your personal strategy to convert your leads into long-term clients. So let's go. What are you waiting for? Register now. Can't wait to see you there. And let's transform your business. The next question we have is from Zach. Zach wants to know, should I be prospecting right now during this pandemic? I feel uncomfortable and I feel embarrassed. I don't want to seem too pushy. Now, that is what most people are feeling and they're thinking. I totally respect it and I understand it. But now is a wonderful time to be prospecting. But what we're saying in our conversation is going to be much different than normal, right? Right now, I highly advise people just to be calling people in their database, past clients, sphere of influence, family, friends, calling people and just asking, how can I help you? What do you need? Don't say, hey, I'm a real estate agent, I'm a lender, I'm an insurance agent, I sell whatever. Don't do that. Just call your database. Send video text messages every single day to family members, to friends of friends, to past clients, to your sphere of influence, to other community members, to other business owners, and just see how you can be supportive, what you can do to help. How can you align maybe your businesses or your skills and your strengths to support each other during this pandemic? It's a wonderful time to prospect. And you wanna know why, Zach? Because people are actually answering their phone right now. People are answering their phone. 
People want, you know, um, connection. People want to talk to somebody else. They're stuck and they have time to talk to you. So what we're finding right now is that emails are getting opened more often. People are answering our phone more often and they're willing to help us as well because they're in the same position that we are in. So don't be afraid to prospect. Just be cautious of what you're talking about. And after you have an amazing conversation with somebody, after you connect with somebody and you offer value and you make sure that you're, you know, feeling them in, in the position that they're in, if at the end you feel comfortable like saying, hey, listen, if you do think, need anything at the end of this, you just know I'm here for you, right? But I don't think you even need to do that because they already know what profession and business that you're in. You can remind them, you know, ever so gently later on, but with those first initial, con those first initial prospecting um, contacts, unless they're personally calling you about business and you're out calling, you're doing outbound calls, I highly recommend just to keep it on a how can I help you, how can I serve you basis. So Zach, I hope that helped and answered your question. And as always, I really appreciate you asking. Are you wanting a kickstart on your business and you wanna learn how to be the go-to professional in your industry? Well, guess what? I've got a challenge for you. It's five days of coaching. It's brand new. Just go to kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. That's kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. And you'll get a training with me for five straight days. That's going to help kickstart you as the go-to professional in your industry. So sign up and I'll see you there. So we're going to be answering three questions. One has to do is now a good time to prospect. The other one is how do I start off during this crisis in my real estate career when I just am beginning. And lastly, what kind of things can I actually do right now during this coronavirus to still have my business continue to move forward? Hi everyone, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Are you ready to be fired up? Because I sure am. And we've got a special offer that we're making just because of this pandemic where you can actually be coached for free by me for the next 20 days. Just go to kristamayshore.com slash free challenge. That's kristamayshore.com slash free challenge where you're going to learn relevant digital marketing strategies on how to still do business right now even during the pandemic. Okay, everyone, two questions with Krista. Super happy to have you. So the first question that we have is, how can I kick off my real estate career in a crisis? But here's what I want to say. Whether you're in real estate or anything else, this applies to you. Maybe you're in a new industry. Maybe you just recently got licensed in whatever career you're in. Maybe you're a business to business marketer or you're a real estate agent or you're a lender and you just don't know what to do. But here's what I want you to understand. There is no better time than the present right now during this pandemic to be able to seize opportunities. And please understand, when I say seize opportunities, I don't mean to take advantage of the situation, but I mean we're in a situation and we can't help it, it's not our fault. So we can do a couple of things. We can number one, do what most people are going to do, and that's going to be let fear and the stress overwhelm us, right? To where we just are paralyzed and we do nothing. That's what the most people are going to do right now. And I've got to tell you that it amazes me right now to see how many people that are just kind of sitting under a rock. They're panicking, they're scared, they're nervous, they're not moving forward. That's how a lot of people deal with pressure and anxiety. And I can tell you why I see this right now, and I know it to be true, is that I have been doing a free challenge now for about a month, and um, I specialize in digital marketing strategies. If you're a real estate agent, I've sold over 2,000 homes. I've uh, been in the business for 19 years. I really know real estate, right? I've sold, I've written um, two best-selling books all about real estate. I've written two more books all about digital marketing, and people are not showing up. So people will sign up for this challenge and they know that I specialize in digital marketing. I've created four million dollar funnels where each funnel made over a million dollars from the digital marketing funnel. So I understand digital marketing and people are not showing up. Now I don't say that to brag, but think about it. We have agents and local professionals and businesses that right now more than ever need to use online digital marketing strategies to stay relevant, to stay in business and less than 10% of the people that are actually signing up for the challenge are showing up. But the good news is the ones that show up, they show up every single time. And they're learning new strategies and new ways to stay top of mind awareness. They're learning new ways to digitally market themselves and to attract business instead of chasing it all the time. But my point to you is that there is no better time than right now. Yes, right now. There's no better time to have more opportunity than right now during this pandemic. 
So while most people are afraid and they're stopping, this is when you start. You produce content, you get your name out there, you serve people, you don't just sell, you serve, you help, you answer questions, you add value, you support other local businesses, you interview other local businesses, you give people strategies on how to deal with the pandemic, right? You help. You help as much as you can. You talk about awesome things you're to do in your neighborhood or in your community, even during the pandemic. What can people do inside of their homes? There's so much that you can do right now to stand out as the authority figure in your profession, in your business, to start attracting business and not chase it. Eventually this pandemic will end. So we want people to remember you, right? But they cannot find you or know about you or they can't buy your product or your service or buy you unless they know about you. So you've got to, you know, in order to be known, you need to be seen, you need to be heard. So to be known, be seen, be heard, help people, get out there, right? Talk about what's happening in, in your industry. Talk about the real estate market if you're a realtor. Talk about, if you're a divorce attorney, ways that you can actually manage the stress and get along. Uh, if you're working an insurance agent, talk about, you know, how this pandemic is going to affect people now with getting insurance and what that means. Talk about solutions to problems that people are having. Be a solution-based thinker and get that content out there and show up in front of the world. That's what you do right now, no matter what business or profession you're in, whether you're new to an industry or whether you're trying, or whether you're you know, experienced and seasoned and you know you need to start reaching your, your community differently. Let me ask all of you a question. How many of you have known that you need to be online? This pandemic is giving you the opportunity to do so. It's forcing you to do so. But many people will just sit, they'll wait, and they'll do nothing. So you have to ask yourself a question. Which type of person are you going to be? Are you going to be somebody who learns how to go under, over, through, and around this pandemic so you can still operate business? Or are you gonna hide under the rock? No, we wanna go over, under, through, and around. We don't wanna hide behind it, right? So don't be afraid to do so. That is my answer to your question. And uh, Tina, I hope it helped. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.